You know, Martha of Bethany, I never understood her. I got trapped, like many people do, by looking at Martha as one who is busy in the kitchen. But now I realize that I cannot afford to be uh, to write of Martha as a doer or a jealous sister of Mary. Stay with me and you will also know what happened to Martha of Bethany, her sister Mary and Lazarus after Jesus' resurrection. I am Father Feroz Fernandez. Uh, thank you for clicking on this video and watching my channel. If you are new here, I invite you to hit the subscribe button and put the notification bell that every time I upload a new video, you will you'll come to know first. And uh, let's go ahead and discover Martha of Bethany. Watch this video till the end and you will discover something fascinating about Martha of Bethany. The church honors Saint Martha of Bethany on July 29th. Martha of Bethany along with her sister Mary and brother Lazarus shared a very close friendship with Jesus. Why should I update my knowledge about Martha of Bethany? Then I discovered that the history has unfairly remembered Martha of Bethany as the one who is busy in worldly concerns. Martha suffers in comparison with her sister. The feast day is providing us an opportunity to learn something more about Saint Martha of Bethany. And that is why I made this video. Thank you for staying on. Did you know that Martha of Bethany appears three times in the Gospels and each time on a different faith journey. The first one we commonly know. I know it, you know it. Martha is super hospitable, burdened with kitchen work. She requests Jesus to tell her sister to help her and Jesus says no, Mary has, is doing the right thing and nobody can take her place. And what was Mary doing? Mary was just sitting at the feet of the master, listening to him speak about all other things. The second time Martha appears in the gospel is after her brother Lazarus' death. I discovered that I was paying less attention to this character trait of Martha. What happened? Martha was mourning the death of her brother. And when she heard Jesus is coming, she ran out to meet him, placing all her trust in Jesus, saying to Jesus, Master, if you were here, my brother would have not died. But even now, I believe that whatever you ask God, He will give it to you. And listen to Jesus' powerful words. I am the resurrection and life. And Martha says, I have come to realize that you are the Messiah. And when Jesus looks at her faith, she, he goes and does this whole big miracle of raising Lazarus from the dead. The third time Martha is mentioned in the Gospels is when Jesus is dining in Bethany along with Lazarus. And this time, it is not Martha who draws criticism, but Mary draws criticism from the disciples for using expensive oil to anoint Jesus. And the Gospels record, simple, Martha served. The boisterous Martha has turned into a silent Martha. Why? Because she discovered Jesus. Whether she was boisterous or whether she is silent, she continues to serve Jesus. That's the beauty of this text. So what's unique about Martha's faith? You know I missed it because I was focusing on Jesus raising Lazarus from the dead. Whereas the real focus is on the proclamation of Martha's faith. Martha, like the Apostle Thomas, serves as a real threshold for faith in Jesus. Resurrection is more than restoring physical body. Resurrection transforms you anew in Christ. Martha had experienced it. And therefore, this is unique about Martha's faith. I was curious to know what happened to Martha, Mary and Lazarus after Jesus' resurrection. See, we hear the accounts of the apostles and things like that, but we do not hear what happened to them after Jesus' resurrection. 
But what happened to Martha, Lazarus and Mary after Jesus' resurrection? We hear about all the apostles, but we do not hear these details. Early tradition has a story what happened to them. The Jews seized Martha, Mary, Lazarus and a group of followers of Jesus, forced them to board a ship that had no sails and no oars so that they may die of a shipwreck. But God miraculously saved them and their boat reached the shores of France. That's the historical part, what happened to them. What can I learn from Martha? I call Martha the patroness of hospitality. She continues to serve Jesus in silence. Like Martha, I am called to be open and trust God. Jesus continues to be there for, you, for each one of us. I like Martha for being an epitome of pragmatic doers. She's practical. Although um, she's portrayed uh, as less contemplative than her sister Mary, and uh, even art portrays uh, Martha as one who is having worldly concerns and Mary is having spiritual one. Look how practical Martha is. When she discovered that Jesus is about to raise her brother Lazarus from the dead, she ran to call her sister Mary and told her, Master is here and he's calling you. That's the beauty of this great person, Martha of Bethany. You find these exact words in churches, in, on the altars or the tabernacle stating, the master is here, he's calling you. It is no wonder that the guest house in which Pope Francis stays and where the cardinals stay during a conclave is known as St. Martha's house. When you experience hospitality, you want to share it with others. Martha realized that Jesus came here to feed, not to be fed, to serve, not to be served. That was Martha's enlightenment. I want to imbibe the hospitality of Martha, reaffirm my faith and call others to Christ. Friends, thank you for watching this video till the end. I appreciate you have taken out your time to learn something more about faith, about Bible, about spirituality, and may this desire of yours lead you to a blessing. This is my wish for you. This is my prayer for you. And if you are new here, I invite you to hit the subscribe button, press on the notification bell, and uh, give me a thumbs up, and put some comments there, like, you know, you want to ask some questions, uh, want to me to do some videos, just put it in the comment section, and, uh, Continue to watch my other videos on this channel and share these uh, videos with your friends. I really admire and appreciate uh, your presence on this channel.